part one of my video, I'm going to be making a oil-cooled Xbox 360, uh, similar to the Puget Systems um, PC that they submerged. I'm actually going to put it in an aquarium and everything. Um, so basically, what I've got so far is the Xbox 360 itself. Um, this Xbox 360 actually will red ring after a while. So we're going to try to correct that problem by completely immersing it in just uh, baby oil, pretty much. Um, as you can see, I've modified the power supply a little bit. It's using a nor normal uh, computer ATX power supply. Um, that's because the power supply that I got with it was bad. Um, it actually is running right now. So What we're going to do now is uh, we're going to modify it inside the, uh, the aquarium. And that will be part two of this video. Alright, so this is step two of the modification. Um, I've done a little bit more stuff to it. Um, as you can see, I've removed the Xbox from its um, little shroud thing. Um, I've also extended the uh, cable. I had a separate Xbox over there. So I stole, I stole the DVD power cable from that and extended it by uh, tipping the cables. Um, I also had a spare, uh, spare cable that I used. So um, that's connected. The drive actually works, so that's a plus. Um, there's only a couple more things I got to do before I actually start um, immersing the thing. But um, as it stands right now, we're in good shape. This is part three. Um, as you can see, I've actually got the, the uh, actual motherboard now into the, uh, the aquarium. Um, it was I did run a couple of issues with power supply, so I had to replace it. Um, actually, I had to put the old power deck back together. So I got that fixed. Um, I'm also running, you can see down here, um, I've got this little cable running up here. That's from the switch. And that's going to be connected to this little switch down here on the actual aquarium so that I can um, open the CD drive. And this little switch over here is going to be used for the um, sync button. Um, the thing is, I couldn't actually wire the power button, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually uh, sync up controllers and whatnot so I can use the uh, Xbox 360 controllers to actually turn the unit on. But um, aside from that, I haven't made a lot of progress since the last thing. Um, I did make this little acrylic panel that allows the um, unit to come out, but I did it mostly um, so that it would hold and not come forward or anything else like that. So that's uh, part three. Um, part four, I'm actually going to get the switches working and I'm going to get the unit uh, with the uh, DVD drive hooked up to the side of the aquarium here. Alright, this is part four. So I've got, as you can see, I have the sticker off the front. Um, <coughs> everything actually is working now. Uh, the only thing that didn't work is this button right here. It's supposed to be for the sink. But, oh well. Um, I did get, it, get the DVD drive button to work. You can see it opens. Um, it's stuck on the side here with some industrial, uh, waterproof tape. Um, I got everything working. I'm going to submerse it, um, in the next video. So, we'll see what happens. Um, this is a finalized product for now. Um, as you can see, I've got the, the fan set up here. Um, it's agitating towards me, um, blowing directly on the oil. Uh, I don't I think it's going to really affect uh, the oil temperature all that much, but it might. Um, like I said, I got the little fish pump here. That's circulating the oil, so I might actually get something out of the fan. I'm not sure. Um, as you can see, though, it actually is working. Um, trying out for the land. Um, minor issue, uh, I won't be able to use a hard drive with this. Um, I, I did think about that before I started making it. 
but um, with the free USB port there, I could just use a USB drive, or I could set up a, a hard drive, um, well, an extra hard drive. Um, <coughs> but I won't be able to use anything con um, as far as Microsoft's concerned, uh, conventional. So I'll be able to use up to 16 gigabytes of, uh, of data per hard I mean, uh, per flash drive. But really, 16 gigabytes isn't too bad. Um, Considering this thing's a hodgepodge and I've got, you know, parts laying all over the place, I'm not really concerned if it actually breaks. This is, uh, this is pretty cool. Um, aside from that, uh, I still have to make the lid, and I'm going to try to set up a, a special lighting um, for it if I can, uh, so that it glows green inside. Um, but aside from the lid, I really don't have anything else to add to it. I mean, I, I, if I could just remove a lot of the cosmetic problems with it, um, I'm planning on actually adding some stones on the bottom, some green stones. Um, but um, she's done for now. So uh, thanks for hanging out with me, and I hope you liked it.